Hello everyone, I'm Rohit and this is the day 16 of the admin training. In this day, we'll basically talk about that ACL. ACL full form is the access control list. In this session, we'll talk about that what is ACL, first of all. Then we'll discuss about the table level ACL and then field level ACL. So let's go to that service now instance actually and understand that why we need the ACL. So this is the service now instance. If you remember the last few days we are working on this instance and if you search here that book module, so books module, this module we are basically focusing on this our application. Now here if you open that, right, we have an ACL module and using the ACL we can control that who can read the record, who can write the record, all these read, write, delete, create operation you can control through the ACL. Let's understand that scenario first and then we'll discuss further on that for example here you can see the book module i can see and i can see that one record is created or one record is available now if i example if i impersonate our user called end user that is the end user let's see what happens to for that user so for the end user if i go back and then type that books what will be happen the module is available once you click the module, it is giving that security constant prevent access request phase. So it means that the end user doesn't have that book module table access. Now we have to be understand that what we are trying to achieve. So first we need to be clearly understand that what we are trying to achieve. First thing, we'll talk about the ACL. So ACL we know that uh, is the access control list, right? So using the ACL you can get that access. For example, end user, right? So the, our case, we have an end user and the end user needs to be see the record. So we are giving them that the end user needs to be see the books table or books record. How can we give them access? So let's end the impersonation and give them the access to the books module. So whenever we created that table, for example, book table, we created the books table. At that moment, we have created four ACL automatically. How we this created for ACL? Let's understand parts. So if you go back to the books module here, under this here books module, and then if you right click on the top configure and then tables, if you remember that there was a create access control checkbox was we check that right. And if you go to the control sections, we have a check this create access control, and here we selected that ITI. It means that. When we created this table, we are saying that ITL can create, can read. So we basically have four options, create, read, write, and then delete. So we said that, here we said that the ITL user can create, read, write, and delete these options. So once we check that and then selected the ITL rule, for them it created four ACL. If you scroll down, under the bottom, you can see the four ACL was created and then one for create operation, one for delete operation, one for read operation and one for write operation. Now to modify this ACL, you cannot modify simply those ACL. To modify that, you need to be add elevated role as an admin, you should have the security admin role. For that, you can go to this profile and then click the elevate role and then elevate that security admin. Then only you will be able to modify this ACL. So let's see. If I open this read ACL at that moment, you can see I have completely read only access because I don't have elevated role. So I need to be add myself as an elevated role. Then only I will be able to modify this record. So the simplest way that you can go to the table, under the tables, you can find out all this access control under this table. Another way is that you can go to this ACL module. If you go to this ACL module, you can put in the name, you can put the table name. So in our case, U underscore book table, we can put that name here and you will be able to find out those ACL. So in our case, our table name is U underscore book. We put the table name and we can see the four ACL was there. Now what we have to do, we are trying to give that read access to the particular user called um, uh, you know, I, end user can see that table. So for that reason, we are going to modify that read ACL. To modify that, you need to have elevated role again. I'll just elevated role myself. And then once I elevated this role, I will be able to modify this book ACL. So open this read uh, ACL here. Now here it's saying the left side table name, the book, and then right side, the field name is none. It means that all the book table field, all the field who can able to read that so operation is the read who can read the itl role 
So India that doesn't have IT and role, that's the reason they are not able to see these book table. So now what we'll do, we'll go back to here in the left side. We need, so we need to be find out a role that can, we can attach to particular uh, end user so that they can have access to this book module, right? So what I'll do, I'll go to this uh, roles table and under this roles table, I'm going to create a new roles called maybe books or maybe end user, anything. So I'll say that at that moment books or, uh, you know, uh, user anything, I'll say that book at that moment and simply save that. So now these uh, roles are created, right? Now what I'll do, I'll add this role to the end user. So I'll open this um, end user role or maybe I can ass assign to any particular groups and then I can assign that groups to user, whichever is best uh, practice. So what I will do, I will open this end user. Under this end user, I will assign this role. At that moment, end user doesn't have any role. I'll add this book role. So let's do that. So I will add this book role. Now once we add this book role, so it means that the user which I am using, the end user, have this book role, right? Now what I'll do, I will modify this ACL. So this is the ACL. And right now this ACL is saying that under the book table, right? So this is the book table, have none means all. I'll come to this little details more about that. So none means all. So I need to be access this book table, who can access this ITIL user and the user who have the book role, they will have access. So let's save that, this once I save that. So this has been said, ACL has been saved. Now what I'll do, I'll go back here, then impersonate our end user, call um, that user and impersonate user. And here, if we type that books, we will be able to see the books module. And right now you can see the user is able to access this book record. And then all the fields are at that moment is uh, read only because the books module or the books table only read access to the book user. So right now, who can read that? The user who have book role, they can read that. Then for the write, what role we needed? For write, still we need the ITL user. So for read, either book role or ITL role, any, any role. If the user have book role or ITL role, they can see or they can read the book. But to write that, they have to have ITL role. Now let's say that our requirement is that, let's understand the requirement. At that moment, our requirement is that under this book table, under this book table, only a state field will be able to be modified. State field can be write um, by book role user. So ro user who have that book role, they can only be able to modify this, uh, you know, state field, right? So let's achieve this requirement. So let's end the impersonation and what I'll do, I'll again elevate role, security admin and then update and what I will do, I'll go back to the ACL again. Now the ACL has to be tweaked such a way that they should have only, um, you know, right access to the state field. So what I'll do, I'll go to this ACL module and then here I'll search the ACL and then put the table um, name equal u underscore book and then hit enter. We have a right ACL. I will simply open this right ACL. And in this right ACL, what I will do, I will put that our role called book role. So I'll put the book role. Okay. And then click save and save here. So what will be happen now? Once I put these book roles here under this right role, what will be happen? If I impersonate this end user, what will be happen? The expected behavior is that the end user will be able to see all the fields and then end user will be able to write on the all the fields. Let's see. So we'll go back to this books uh, table and then open this record and you can see end user is able to see all this field and end user is able to modify all the fields. But that's what we did not want. We want only to be state field to be read only. To make this state field only uh, writable, what we have to we do, let's understand via image. So let's assume that this is our book table, okay? So in this table, we have a book table and in this books, there are uh, five 
column at that moment right and these five are the column and these these all are row we know already right so what we'll do we created a acl called book dot none right we created a acl called book dot none so what does it mean by, by uh, book dot none it means that the user have the book dot none have the role called book role right so book dot none have the role called book role what does it mean by that it means that for this complete row, for the complete row, uh, what who has to be accessed? The access has to be um, permit by the book role. Now what I'll do, I'll create another ACL called book dot state. Okay, so it means that only state field or maybe only for name field who will have access who, that will have access to the book underscore user. So the user who have book role they will have access to this field and what will be the remaining field remaining field like book i'll create another acl called book dot star so there is one field called star so if we means that book dot star means remaining field so these two these all are remaining field who will have access i'll put that itil role so let's understand first thing first we'll create a we already created that book dot none and then that book dot run none who have access the book user have access it means that this user have all this field access now what we'll do i'll create another acl called book dot state and who will have access book user will have access in that case this name field will have that book user access and then thirdly i'll create that book dot star with that ITL user, so it means that these role will these fields will be only accessible by ITL, not others. So this way that we can achieve our requirement. Let's go back to our service instance. So right now this table book table is accessible by end user and all the fields is accessible by end user. What we'll do? I'll go back again in the impersonation and go to the ACL and then I, this time I'll create some of this ACL. Previously I was able to modify that. But now I will create some of this ACL. What I'll do, I'll create some ACL. So for that, I'll add the elevator role and then I'll create some ACL. So I'll type that you underscore book. So at that moment, we have, um, you know, four ACL. I'm going to create one more new ACL. I'll click new. And this time operation is right. And then table name is the book. And then on which field? The state field. I'll put that state and then who will be able to access? The book user will be able to access this state field. That's what I am trying to say. Let's save that. Once I am trying to say that, you can see the row level access. Who have the row level access? This ACL we have created earlier. This ACL is saying that or this ACL is saying that row level access. So complete row. So complete row who have access com in complete row, complete row have access by book and ITL user. On top of that, we are putting a another ACL that the user who have um, book role, they will be able to access the state field. I'll just continue and save that. So it means that the book role who have the book role, they will be able to access this state field. Now I'll create another set of ACL. So I'll go back here, go to the ACLs module and then here I'll click new. And then I want to create one more ACL called read. Um, the type is record and then operation is right on the book table. And then on the start fields means the remaining field. Remaining field means that apart from the state field, who will have access ITL user. Now, if we try to save that, once we try to save that, you will be able to see that uh, there is a one uh, ACL we are adding. We'll just continue and save that. So our ACL uh, determination, our requirement is fulfilled. So let's go back to the ACL module again and understand that we have three ACL right now for writing that. So if I type u underscore book, right, we'll have three ACL on the right operation. If you show match with the right, we have three operation. First, on the book table, who have access? ITIL user. On the book table, we have access to ITIL user and we have book role user. Now, under this book dot uh, state, right, on this field, have access to the book user and then book dot start 
means apart from the state field, all the field have access to the ITIL user, right? So let's impersonate that our user end user. So this is our end user. We are going to impersonate that and go back to our module called book module and our expectation is that only we should be able to modify state field nothing else so this is the book record we can see and if we open this book uh, table record you can see i have only access to these uh, you know state field remaining field are become read only so this way we can modify our acl uh, we can do a lot of scripting also i'm not going that much deep details but for the time being, this is how we can basically, uh, you know, create our ACL. So that's it for today. If you have any question, let me know in the comment section. Thank you very much. Have a great day.